Hey everyone, it's Daphne from Scruff and Create and we're working on page seven. Page seven, so this is gonna be a double pocket page and um, I'm gonna have this slide inside like so to create a stack. The first pocket is three and a half, I think they're both, yeah. So you're gonna do two of these, three and a half by nine and a half, three and a half by nine and a half and you're gonna score three sides to make the lower pocket. And then we're gonna do something a little bit different here. You can score it, but you don't have to. And I'll show you why in just a second. Let's get this done and installed and then I'll show you. So um, let's get this installed, sorry. So three and a half by nine and a half, it's gonna go on the bottom of our pocket page. There we go. Now on the second one, I said it's three and a half by nine and a half. What you really wanna do is make it three and just a smidge narrower. And the reason we want it a little narrower is so it'll fit into this pocket um, slightly. So I mean as thin a slice as you can take off the width, then do a half inch score and then rotate and do half inch on either end. And it should fit nicely into your pocket. Now I went ahead and scored the bottom because I knew where to miter my corner. I knew where to stop at one, one inch. You can also uh, just put a one inch tick mark with your pencil. You can do the score, it doesn't really matter. This is gonna be covered with some designer paper. So you're not gonna see that score line and it's gonna go in just like so. So we need to put some tape on the edges. We're not gonna do anything here. And basically the larger inserts will pass through and reach to the bottom. Now, if you wanted to have just two short stacked ones, you would go ahead and put that score line down and that would be a pocket, uh, a short pocket. But I wanna have a long pocket and a short pocket. So that's what I'm doing. So we need to put some tape on the sides. I'm just gonna fold back a little bit at a time so I can get it in, excuse me, straight before I pull the tape out. There we go. Okay, so we have the short pocket and then we have the long pocket. So this is one of my inserts. This was a piece of scrap that I had left over and it is three and three quarters by seven and a half, three and three quarters by seven and a half. And it just happened to be that size. And if you look over at your scraps, you'll see that you have lots of uh, scraps about this size. So I'm gonna put a couple of long, what I consider tags in here, and then a couple of the smaller things in here as well. This paper uh, is from, what is it from? I gotta refer back to the, uh, the original packages, because I can't remember.
I think it's. <laughs> Yeah, it's from the um, background. It's from the background. Sorry, it took a little while to figure out. So I'm going to pull in page six so we can look at it. So this is page six. Page seven, I had originally planned to just be three tiers of these stripes, but now I'm not so sure. What do you guys think? I think, I don't know. I kind of like this. Oh, but the pattern's not going the right direction, so we are definitely going to use the stripes. Unless I've got another scrap over here. Most of these will fit. I don't think I have that, but if I do, I might use that. They're not really scraps, but you know what I mean. They're already cut through. Maybe we'll do one in that, yeah, just to alternate it, make it a little more interesting. Also pulls this tone um, color family back in. So I'm going to use this one for the top and this one for the second. And this is gonna go on the bottom. I think I want it to go this way. Go ahead and set page six aside. It's good. Okay, now I can trim this one to fit. As soon as I find my pencil. Hmm. I guess I need to do a little housekeeping because I don't see it. Oh. Of course I put it up. So what I'm going to do to make this easier to install is not to put glue on the leading edge. So I'm going to stop my glue a half inch or so above the leading edge. And then it should go right into that pocket. nice together. Okay, so here's our last one. And I really like this pattern. So I definitely want to make sure I'm cutting. So we could either cut from here up. Oh, you know what? I think I'm going to cut. Let's see if I could get it to go in the pocket. I think what I want is that and that's because this matches this. So we'll have it on the bottom and on the top. Oh, but that means I'm halfway through this pattern. I don't like that. So that's one option. This is the other option. I kind of like the rope. This is clearly all preference, but I think I think I'm going to make it especially difficult by cutting this out and gluing it down and then <laughs> cutting these out and adding that. I know it's silly, but I think I, I think I like that. Okay. 
So here's my sort of duplicate rope piece. So I could do that. And then what would... I just took all the white off the bottom so it's going to butt right up to the rope and then I need to trim on the top. I got it. And I can't do that. It's too small for them to go in my trimmer. So I'm going to cut it right here. And then we should be good. Let me double check. I'd hate to over trim. That's going to work. Start by adding the top and then coming down. So now we have rope on the top, rope on the bottom. Okay, and then we're pulling this pattern back in. There we go. Perfect. I like it. Okay, so now we need some inserts. So I had done one. Okay, so I've got this one, which is a deep one. And then I've got some cards still. I've got lots of goodies, actually. I might want to use that to... Um, Here's a nice big card. So I'm going to um, make a card for this and it'll go into the lower pocket. And we've got something up here. This I'll wind up having to use two pieces to make a card. So I'm gonna go away, make a couple of inserts, and then I'll, I'll give you the instructions when I come back and I can actually demonstrate them for you.